Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss how to execute Python program using VS Code. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last session. What is an IDE? We discussed about some popular Python IDEs. IDEs we covered in our videos. What is VS Code? Advantages of VS Code? How to download and install VS Code? If you haven't watched that video, please watch that for the better understanding of this video. After watching this video, you will get the knowledge about these points. How to create folder and files in VS Code? How to execute Python program using VS Code? How to install extensions in VS Code? So in our last session, clearly we discussed how to download and install VS Code. Now let us try to open the VS Code first. For that, in the search box, type VS Code. Now click on open. So generally you find this type of the welcome page. First, let us try to create a folder. After that, you can create your files within that folder. For that, what we need to do is, observe here, we have the option Explorer. Click on here. And after that, we have one more option here, Open Folder. Click on this option. And select the path where you want to create your folder. Suppose I am selecting the location D. Here I want to create a folder. Right click, new and folder. Give the name to your folder. Let me say Python class. My folder name is Python class. After creating the folder, select that folder and click on select folder option. Now see that folder is reflected here. Python class. Here we have two important options, those are create a new file and create a new folder. If you want to create a file within this folder, you can click here. If you want to create one more folder within that folder, you can use this second option. So now I am clicking on new file option. After that, here you must provide your file name first. Let me give my file name is hello. And one more important point is whenever you are giving the file name, you must give the extension also. The extension for the python file is .py. You must type .py here. Now you can observe it shows the icon also. Now press enter button. Now a file is created with name hello.py. Now you can type your program here. I am using only print statement. Now this is what IntelliSense you can observe here. It will show the complete syntax for the understanding of any particular statement. Welcome to VS Code. That's it. This is my program. Now you can observe a dot here. The meaning is this program is not updated in the memory. To reflect those modifications in the memory, you must save it again. For that, click on file and click on save. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut control S. Now see, I am using control S. The dot will be disappeared. Now you can observe. The meaning is whatever the modifications you have done in your file, that will be updated in the memory also. Now, writing the code is completed. Now, how to execute? For that, click on view menu. In that, we have the option terminal. You can click on terminal option. Now, you can check the path where you saved your file. That path must be matched to this path. Now, here we created a folder within the D drive. Within that, we saved a file. So this path is matched. Now 
let us try to execute python program for that we need to use the syntax python space your file name hello dot py this is the syntax to execute python program python space file name dot py press enter now you can observe this is our output welcome to vs code then if you want to create one more file within the same folder same process again come to here click on new file option like this how many files you want to create within that folder that many you can create now this is the way how to execute python program without extensions so we have one more important option here extensions click on this option you can observe so many extensions are here depending on your requirement depending on language with which you are working you can install the required extensions with the help of these extensions you can develop and execute your program efficiently suppose if you want to execute python program without using the terminal you can do that with the help of the extensions you can run the python without help of the terminal also for that you need to write the program and when you install executed related extensions a button is created here observe here we have a button just like a play button run button when you click on this button automatically the program will be executed now see this is the output of our program but by default you may not get this if you want to get this run button you must install the python relevant extensions like code runner or python intelligence now you can observe here this python is extension if you install this that will give the intelligence just we have seen the syntactical rules of complete print when you are typing that that type of the intelligence you can find then here we have one more option settings if you want to change the themes or font size etc you can do that check all the options what we have in the settings and here we have one more important option keyboard shortcuts all the keyboard shortcuts are placed here you can go through this depending on your requirement you can use this then suppose if you want to execute a python program without creating the folder also you can for that go to file select new text file click on that and a file is created in this case we are not providing the extension at the time of the creating the file a text file is created start typing of your program let me write a simple statement print welcome to python now we need to save this for that go to file click on save as select the path where you want to save this suppose in the d drive i have python folder within that python i want to save give the name to your file let me give welcome welcome dot py compulsory okay here we have one more option save as type click here now so many programming languages names we have here we can execute this many programming languages with help of the vs code or python javascript java you can observe here we need to select python because our code is python related code then click on save button now you can observe welcome dot py so for the execution you can use terminal otherwise if you install the extensions you can use this run button now see welcome to python check your knowledge what you learned from this video how to create folder and files in vs code how to execute python program using vs code how to install extensions in vs code if this video is useful to you do subscribe the channel to get more useful videos watch and share it thank you